Hello everyone, welcome back to my African lifestyle and if it's your first time here, you are so so welcome. Thank you so much. I'm taking you guys on a tour around my beautiful African neighborhood and I hope you guys enjoy the ride. Okay, here we go everyone. Right here, I captured this beautiful African sister. She makes um, drinks from petite meal. Um, it's very very sweet like in the subsequent videos. I will show you guys how people buy this and drink um, She sells um, like she told me she sells 10 liter of this drink for about four dollars And uh, this is what she does for a living you guys can see the burning fire and everything African women are very very strong so after cooking this um, some people will come and buy and resell and uh, if she still has like excesses she will carry it around the, the neighborhood and sell as well and sometimes she has like a small uh, bar where uh, men usually come and drink yeah to just to have fun you know they usually come and sit around drink in calabash okay like i'm going to show you guys what calabash is like i discovered something today um, i discovered something today but if you want to know what it is you will have to stay till the end of the video oh my god i cannot imagine i did not know what um a fresh calabash look like anyways guys i'm not going to fast forward anything yeah like just just come with me just come with me you guys can see some young men under the mango tree there sometimes these are the people who usually come to drink they are the people who come and sit around and drink and just have fun you guys can see they are resting they are bike riders when they ride and they are tired they usually come and sit somewhere and have a rest and chat and uh, you know when they gain when they gain back their energy they will proceed yeah so i'm giving you guys a touch about um the the togolese people's um lifestyle as well yeah and uh, one thing i noticed about this place is that um it's very very fatal sandy soils in general are very very fertile like a lot uh, a lot of crops will thrive on sandy soils and togo is blessed with sandy soils you guys you cannot imagine that in togo you don't need to buy sand you you don't have to buy sand eh? like sun is everywhere and if you were to buy sun it's very cheap you guys can see like the ground it's very sandy it's very sandy it's difficult to even find stone and uh, as i was saying it's very fertile as well you guys can see like um cassava plants doing very well popo everything is doing so well oranges yeah like yams um corn a lot a lot of crops they do so well um here in togo a lot a lot they do very well you guys can see a public grinder i usually talk about public grinders and i've done videos about it as well that's a public grinder if you want to grind like tomatoes and you don't have a blender you can always take it there and somebody will grind it for you look at this energetic african woman she's walking around and hawking she's selling some jewelries and stuff on the tray uh, tray she's carrying and i came here it's so interesting i was just taking a walk around my neighborhood though yeah so i came around this place it's very very interesting it's cold chilled and uh, i don't know like so relaxed here i feel like staying here just look at how fresh the place is i felt like just sitting down because the sun was really really hot i was like maybe i should just sit down and uh, yeah this is the calabash i was talking about oh my god before i i thought um the calabash comes from um the egusi i don't know pistache you guys know pistache right yes it does come from pistache but this one too is calabash so i asked a, a young guy about it he told me that's calabash i was like how can an african like me not know that calabash also comes from trees <laughs> is it possible is it possible i was like how dumb of me like i've seen it once i've seen it once or twice but i never paid attention yeah 
so you guys can see here the buildings are quite advanced more than the other ones but this is like the same area yeah this is like the same area and uh, here we have like a mini supermarket you see Africa everywhere you go you always have like this very small markets where you can buy anything you want and this lady she sells shoes trays and uh, wrappers a lot a lot a lot a lot a lot a lot I spotted some um, something there I wanted to get it but it's not actually what I wanted yeah it's not actually what I wanted she sells like corn as well and uh, yeah okay let's proceed <laughs> let's proceed guys you guys you all can see how sandy the soils are you know what I was talking about like the, the soil is so sandy everywhere there is sun when I first got here in Togo I was like oh my god the way the sun is there is so much sun in this country it's like everything you are eating you find sun inside but actually it's not the case wow look at this cassava farm so fresh so fresh so fresh oh my god yeah right these days people are building a lot of modern houses here in togo you guys can see people, they are doing well when it comes to building their houses are posh like they are super super nice and the houses are constructed with cement bricks you guys you guys saw it behind there yeah let's focus on the cassava actually cassava and i have a very very deep relationship that's why i like cassavas a lot yeah, so let me show you guys for people who don't know what a cassava plant look like this is what a cassava plant look like yeah and uh, if you've been watching my video you'll have seen what cassava roots look like yeah i once did um videos about uprooting cassava i went to a cassava farm and i was uprooting it yeah for you guys so i also noticed something there is this bench it looks so beautiful and i was like let me check it maybe i will get one for myself not the bench actually but i have like planks and i want to do something but i was really wondering you guys just see how beautiful like clean so superb this guy can actually do a perfect job i think so i went there to knock and actually asked him if he's the one who did it <laughs> when i want something i go for it i go for it it looks so beautiful so i went there to knock and he came and he told me he's the he's the uh, one who did it but it's quite expensive though so i left sorry it's not that i like cheap things so but the price he was calling eh, i cannot afford it so i left look at who is here playing with sun this like sun is her best friend the way she likes playing with sun eh? hey <laughs> god she will eat it like anywhere she sees sun she's going she's so happy and yeah i like taking her to play with sun because that's what she likes like when she's indoors she's like always nagging wanting to go out and when she's out she's really free i really enjoyed my my stay in this area like my daughter was free taking some air yeah we really enjoyed the stay here though like wow so beautiful so beautiful so beautiful i feel like staying here forever <laughs> Yeah, just, actually, this place is close to my home but yeah we we're just having a walk around and uh, i noticed some very interesting things that i wanted to show you all guess what is here this is like a water storage but it's broken togolese people usually have like this um cemented water storage it's, it's done with cement and when rain falls the water will be stored in here and they can actually come and carry it yeah but this one is very old and uh, yeah so look at that girl clean <laughs> as usual <laughs> oh my god the way she likes sun as i told you guys before you, you can see like here they have bricks um done with cement in cameroon um mostly we have bricks uh, which is done from mud but rich people do the bricks from cement but here in togo is done with cement because the, because of the availability of sun so this is the water storage here this one is good this one is not broken like the other one we saw yeah this one is good if you open it there is water inside but i could not open it because it's not mine i wish i could but it's not mine so i could only show you guys from a distance and there is something about this um water pod when you get water from there is so fresh it, and it's usually very cold like from the freezer like from the freezer yeah so growing up i used to drink water from that pot but uh, we don't have a lot like 
here in uh, in togo we don't have a lot of that body in cameroon like here in togo i think nigerians also have it a lot yeah but in cameroon where i come from we don't have a lot but i remember once i drank water from a pot like that and uh, it was very fresh and cold yeah so this is where i learned that so this is where i learned about the calabash tree growing up i used to eat fufu in calabash but i thought they came from egusi only but today i i learned something new that calabash also comes from a tree like this and uh, i think i once saw a tree like this but i i didn't pay enough attention to actually ask um what was on the tree yeah so today i learned this is calabash it looks so beautiful i wish there were fruits that could be eaten because they are so huge like watermelons or something but they are not <laughs> yeah so when he said when you plug one you will get two calabash from it and this calabash you guys you remember the drink we saw the drink we saw before um from the beginning of the video people drink it using this calabash so yeah thank you guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video actually i'll be bringing more videos like this yeah thank you guys so much i really appreciate it